Hello. In this video, I will show you how to promote Clickbank product. So I'm going to Clickbank. I'm gonna grab search for a product. I'm gonna grab the product, create a landing page, and create a sign up form and start promoting. But this one will be different because I will collect email from this one. The, the video, most of the video that I did before, I just like do it like direct linking, even though I use a landing page, but I don't collect no email. So this time I will make sure I do it in a way I can collect email. Even the person is not purchased from the first time, but I can send offer to that person. Even, even it's not the, the same offer, but I will get my person as my subscriber and I can send them email or offer from any other product that I want to promote. So if it's for the first time you're watching my video, please do me a favor, click subscribe and click on the notification bell. So anytime I drop a new video, YouTube will notify you. If you have any comment, any concern or anything you wanna talk about or any question you wanna ask about affiliate marketing or Clickbank product, or if you want to promote Clickbank product, you have some problems, some difficulties, you can ask me question and I'm here to help. So if it's for the first time you're watching, please subscribe. And if you've been watching my video before, but you never subscribe, you need to do this right now. So let's go to Clickbank and I will search for the product and from there, I will grab the product, create a landing page. That way I can, I can have a form and I can, I can build my email list. So let's go. And I assume that you already have a, a Clickbank account. If you don't go to clickbank.com, create an account, and then you can come back and watch the video. So. I am in the make money online niche. That's when I'm promoting how you can make money online or any product that related to teaching people or classes that teach people or webinar that teach people how to make money online. So let's go to e-business and e-marketing. You click on it. So I will search by gravity. Gravity, click on click gravity here and I will find a product, a good product that I can use and make money. So I'm going to use this one. This one, let's click on the, on the, on the page. It says online social media work that pay 25 to $50 per hour. No experience required, work at home. So this is the one that I am going to promote. So let's go to to the to the marketplace. So to promote this, remember the last video I made, I told you you can come where it says affiliate and the the, the vendor will give you well not will give but put all the information on how to promote their product and what you should do and what you should not do this is the affiliate page and if you come to promotion tools you can find email email swipe hoplink your banner well a, a lot of uh, uh, things you can find to promote their product and this product they give you a uh, pay per click ppc that's that's pay per click they give you the ad not not only the ad copy they give you the keywords you can target so this is the you can if you if you choose to promote this one you can come here and then click and check all those different information that they give keywords and every site template if you want to use wordpress or html template product image and so on they give you a lot you can use to promote their product so let's go back and we are going to grab the link and go create a landing page 
So before we grab the link, let's go and create our landing page. So I'm going to a page two, but the last video I made, I show you where you can use Aweber. You can create a free account to create your landing page. So you can promote any product you want. And I will use Aweber today, but I will use Aweber to create my form uh, because Aweber is a, you can create a landing page on Aweber, but it is an auto responder. So I'm gonna use another program that's called Ontrasoft. Unfortunately, that program is not public yet. Of a few of us have a chance to test that program, to, to work with it, and to tell the vendor how the program works and what need to change what blah 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 it's you know so we have to try it and make sure we break it as much as possible before they put it public because when they put it public they want to make sure everything is working properly so this is the program that i'm using right now on trust and on trust is a program it is an auto responder it is a funnel builder. It is, you have a lot of things you can do inside this program. You can even create a website. You can even create a website inside this, this tool. So you can see here when you, when you see where you see website right here, if you create, they give you templates. It's a, it's a drag and drop program you can use to create landing page, website, membership page, and more. So let's go to funnels. So these are all my funnels. I have a lot of funnels, I can tell you. So the one that I'm going to use is this one that called Media Paid. This is the name of the product that we are going to promote. Uh, where's the product? The product is right here. It says it's right, right here pay social media okay media pay let's let's go let's let's go to the to the main page okay you can see it's media pay so pay to use social media pay social media oh okay pay social media okay well media pay pay social media well it's kind of the same thing. okay so let's go and i will show you my my landing page so i create my landing page already and i will show you what I did because I had a landing page, I just modified it and then I will put the link in there and I will show you how you can do that. Too. So let's go, let's open that up and we go to edit. So this is the landing page. So all I did, I come to them. I, I go to the main website. As you can see, I copied the headline, okay? copy the headline and then I just put it here right here I just made a, a few modification but since there's a lot of people that's going to promote this a lot of affiliate marketing out there that's know what I'm doing because we've been to the same training a lot of them they know what I know that's mean to not have the same copyright so i will make a little change on this one few minor change and so we don't have problem with copyright because if 10 20 people promoting the same thing and using the same headline the same thing it will be a problem so make sure anything you grab on the internet you make a few change to make sure it's become yours okay watch what i'm going to do so here this one says 25 dollars i i'm just gonna put 20 and 20 this one says 50 dollars let's put 45 45 dollars now you will not have a lot of marketers that think the, the same way i think so the same number that i put they might not change anything or if they change they're not gonna put the same number okay and then 
after you click this right here and then you can you you, you come here you click save because remember you have to save and after you saved it you can preview preview right here so this is how it's oh uh, it's too big this is how it look like but it is too big so i'm gonna have to reduce this to make sure everything fit on one only one page so let's go to uh let's reduce the whole thing let's modify this modify this get this one it's kind of uh too big let's put all right let's let's remove this let's remove this we don't need this here and this up here we have a lot of spaces that we don't need the space right here so let we do this the space on top uh, padding top uh, okay let's go here so anything you have to you need to change all you have to do you select it first because you have to select it and then you go to the sidebar to make any to any modification so padding to the to the top click on it and you can see this one is moving so let, you have i have to make sure like padding top okay why here this one is 100 percent okay that's good uh, okay so and then why here since this one coming so let's go back let's let's move this a little bit to the bottom the bottom probably to the bottom let's move it back a little let's get this one right here like this it's putting to the top move it move it move it move it, move it. Move it down 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 okay this is too big this is too big so let's Small, too big. Fifteen. Padding to the left. Make sure it's the same size as. All right. Let's save and preview and see how it look like. Preview. Well, this look good. This is the color is not is different. This this one is too dark. This is. Uh, we have to fix this because we have to uh, we have to fix 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 this all right let's go back and fix this the color background color background 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 uh, it says background let's check. okay background color right here bang okay it's it's good now okay so let's go back to so this is where this is the website uh, um this is the, the 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 landing page our landing page and then let's go back to this section where i will show you where to put your since we are going to collect emails so we have to add uh, a form where the person can go and enter the email address so let's go back here where it says uh, website. So since I want, if I didn't want to collect any email, I was gonna leave it like this because anytime somebody come here and click on the on the start get start now, the button was going to redirect the the person to this website. So since now we have to we want to collect emails. So we can't do it that way because there's no way that person going to enter. There's no place to enter their email address. So what I'm going to do right now, I will click on open pop-up. Open pop-up right here. So anytime somebody come here and click, and there, there will be a drop-down menu that with a form on it where the person can enter their email address and they can enter their information and click and take them to the next page so since 
we want we have to do this we can do this in this in this website so if i want to do it in this website i will go here let's go back where it says to save it let's go back i will show you you can do it in this one but i'm not going to do this to do it in this one i'm going to do it in the 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 other other responder that I was talking in my last video. So to do that, you come here where it says uh, marketing and campaign where it says form builder. You can come here and create a form. I'm going to show you how the form look like. It's look like just like this. Simple. Just a little message where the person will have to enter their information and then click. So when the person click, it will take it to, to the offer and the email address will come to you. So let's go to my other, my other, uh, uh, other responder so I can do that quickly so you can see how it's looking. So let's go to Aweber. Okay, this is my account. This is my Aweber account. So now I am going to, let's, I have a lot of lists that I'm not using right now. So let's use one that I'm not using. So let's use this one. And I will change the name since I'm, I made it for for a platform that I, I used. But I don't, um, well, I, I stopped using that platform. So I'm going to have two. Okay. So this is the list for, uh, uh, for this name. I will click on sign up form. I will I will modify the sign up form and make sure I change everything to make it congruent or to make it like relevant to the landing page that I am using. So I will do that right now. And if I want to create, I can create. Let's go back. I can create a new uh, create a new sign up form. If I want to create a new sign up form. So you can come here and create a new sign up form. So since I have this one, I'm just going to modify it and click edit after you click edit. And then it will show you where you can come to, uh, you can come to edit your, your sign up form. Okay. So let's come here. Here it says, Enter your best load logging detail for instant access. So since this one, where's my my page? Let's go to funnel because you have to make sure the information you have on your page is matching the information in the vendor website and it's also matching the information in your page also. So let's go back here. So since the button says get start now, I will have to make sure this one says the same thing. Get start now. So I'm trying to match the color, even it's not like the same, but I'm trying to match the color. Uh, make sure they look almost the same. This one is a little bit. Let's keep it like this. And click OK. And uh, since the other one says get start, so let's make this one. So enter your best login for instant access. So let's just say uh, select edit. Uh, let's enter your your best login detail because I was I was doing this for uh, another. Okay, let's keep it this way and click save. And it's the same thing if you want to use Aweber landing page. If you want to use Aweber and landing page and you want to build your email list, it's the same thing. After you create the landing page, you do you come here and do the same thing. You create a sign up form and you connect the sign up form with the landing page. It's the same thing because all those are uh, platform they have the same options so after you do all that you have to click save form so it's saved right now and then go to the next step click on 
next step. And here, so since we don't have a, a thank you page, if we had a thank you page, I was gonna connect this to the thank you page. Since, since we don't have a thank you page, I will, the, this is where you're going to put your hub link. Okay, so let's go to, let's go back to, to Clickback where I'm going to get my hub link. So it's get paid to use. This is what I'm going to use, this, this product. Click promote, enter my username, generate hub link, copy the hub link, and go back to to uh, to my sign up form and i paste it here not open to the window already subscribed just if somebody already subscribed just take them to th this one i say uh, uh aweber if somebody already subscribed and the person click do not send me that person email address because i have it already just send him directly to the page okay and then click save and go to the next page so here is where i am going to install my form so to, to do that you will have you have a lot of options a lot of ways you can do that but i will show you one way that i do it that's i don't have problem so you can do it this way, but if you do it this way, and you get, you, you're going to, to have to integrate Aweber with any other platform that you're using to create your landing page. That way, Aweber can communicate with that program. So if you're using like, you say, you use ClickFunnel, you have to integrate ClickFunnel, uh, uh, Aweber to ClickFunnel, that way, when you create the form and you can just copy this code and put it in a section on ClickFunnel and that way they can connect together. But since I'm not, I'm not using Click, ClickFunnel and the other thing, I don't use this because I have a lot of problem because there's a, anytime I use this, Aweber asked me to ask the subscriber to conf confirm the email address. Sometimes they don't want to do that. They just do not confirm it. And then that person, you lose that customer. So to avoid that, I use this one. So this one, just say, I'm going to copy all this and I am going to uh, uh, connect the page or the form with my uh, funnel builder via HTML. So let's copy this and I'm going to my auto response, uh, my funnel builder. Uh, uh, when anytime somebody click on this button to, to open the pop-up, the pop-up is right here. It's the same for click funnel or any other funnel builder that you you will going to use. You will use it's the same thing. Nothing changed. It's one copy. This company do 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 something, and another one just come and copy and change the name and make it his own. That's how it's work. So you click on it, and I will install the code right here. Okay, to install the code, I just come here. You click you select this one and then you click open code editor and since i already installed one but i made change so i don't want it to be the same i'm going to erase this one right here remove it and add the new one add the new code since i made i made change so anytime you change something on your form you have to copy the hdml again because if you don't do that it will not recognize it or the change will not happen it will not recognize the change so let's we save and let's preview this and see how it's look like and i click this boom and then the form right here okay so it says watch the video and you know, oh, there's something we have to change 
and here we have to remove this so let's go back to a weber we have to remove it this is the problem and when you're doing this you have to make sure you test everything because if one thing went wrong you can have well it's not gonna be a big problem but so let's go back here this one where's that message i don't i don't have it here So sure. So sure. Okay, I don't automation. And uh, I don't see where I don't see where I don't see where this message comes from. Uh, it's not in the form. It's not on the form. Let's let's do this. It's not here. This is good. Save. Let's let's do it again. Save. Go to the next step from save. Go to the next page, install the form. I will install it again. Copy from here. Uh, so like the same code we remove this and paste this save let's check something right here everything should look good okay save Oh, okay. Oh, well, uh, why it wasn't the problem wasn't in the form, it was in this right here in the pop up. So let's 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 see what uh, this one says. Uh, take take a one minute quiz to find out what type what type of social media are best fit for. All right, let's click, let's take this one right here. Because sometimes you have to tell your customer what you want the person to do. So let's remove this right here. And then put this. Take a one minute quiz to find out what type of social media job you best fit for. Okay, so now I can save save preview start now open so i'm gonna have to enter my email address right here and see what's going to happen so let's i'm going to put my email address right here okay so I put my first name in my email address right here and click start to let's see what's going to be happen. Boom. It work. And to check if your if your username match what you have in your URL, 
you can come here and you click you just select this one to see if your username is on this so if you don't see your username that means something is wrong you have to go back and make sure you 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 grab the the link again because your username the username i mean your, the username you use for clickbait should be on the link that's the only way the vendor can know where this lead come from if you don't do that you're not gonna get paid so since i have my my form ready i have my every all i have my form ready i have my i have my link working properly now let's go and create the ad okay this is my ad account uh, let's come here campaign create i don't know what's going on if it's because it's raining outside my computer is so slow okay let's come here where it says campaign create campaign so if you don't have uh, your bean or oh, microsoft advertising ready if you don't have an account yet it's highly recommended that you go and create an account that's free just go and create the account so create campaign create campaign visit to my website so select visit to my website and make sure you select search ad because you want people to search for your ad that's why you're going to use keyword and then come click next and then this is where you are going to create your campaign so give the give your campaign a name social aid i'm gonna call i'm gonna call it like this social paid paying social whatever and then i'm gonna leave the budget as it is 25 dollars and the 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 targeting country canada and you us and one thing you have to make sure you do do not keep this check make sure you on check it because this one says people searching or viewing page about your targeted area you need people searching searching in your target area not about so make sure you uncheck this and then go down save and go to the next page really important and now you can create your ad group so now they ask me for my website since i am using a landing page so i'm gonna use my landing page url okay so this is the the, the let's go back Let's go back social page and i am going to take this one so because uh your your website should match with your landing page so since i don't my website is my landing page because this domain i don't i, I don't have a website with with it i just have the the landing page i just use it for for landing page so i don't have any other website so this is the one i'm going to put here so this is my website that's what it is and this is what going to show this is what going to show on your ad it's going to show this uh i don't want to put the the website of the vendor because uh it might give a little problem if i do that since i don't i don't do a linking i use a landing page so i'm going to use this that's okay okay so this is the my website so anytime somebody click on my ad on microsoft advertising this is what they're going to see and then i'm going to create an ad group ad group i'm going to call it the same name as the the, 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 the my landing page social, social paid and then 
I can create I can add some keywords so I can do that now or I can do it later so since let's let's add a few keywords okay uh, let's let's add a few keywords so social pay let's social media job this one has 20 keywords so okay let's click on this one this is say employment no social media let's check social media and see what they have all right you have social media marketer social media recruitment freelance social media okay i can use this one social media and the career social media hiring social media salary social media media hiring social media career opportunity i can use this one and social media opportunities use this one and then i click add and automatically add to okay so you can see right here i have all those keywords and then click save and go to the next page so the next page this is where you're going to create your ad okay so to create your ad i'm going to have i'm going to go back to the to clickbank in the affiliate page where i'm going to grab some ideas on how to create my ad so uh let's add my url it's the same thing the same it's right so the same url mobile url is the same thing also let's just add it right here this is the mobile all right i don't know what's going on but let's go to clickbank let's go back to clickbank clickbank uh let's go i'm going to the affiliate page affiliate page okay survey site killer social media okay uh let's go here where it says uh promotion banner recipe custom landing page ppc ad let's click on ppc ad and social media social media or oh, one thing i can do let's go back to to my landing page and i can add okay this is what i put in my landing page let's put the same thing okay let's just copy and paste this okay online and go back to to my ad and as headline i can add this one online social media okay and then let's go back to clickbank and grab some idea clickbank social media page okay facebook position let's use this